Hello, hello, everybody. But we are... Continue. I'm just unlocking a bunch of badges, apparently. But, uh... We beat Assassin's Creed 2 last time that we played. So... We are moving on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. Unlock additional rewards in the Ubisoft Club! I think I already did that, and either way, I don't really care all that much. The early games didn't have that many odd things. Speaking of odd things, still don't understand why this game had two DLC story... Like... Like, main story memory DLC. Maybe the Templar Lairs were also DLC, but it just feels very weird that Memory Sequence 12 and 13 were DLC. And that Memory Sequence 13 sucked. But we are going to move on to Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. We would have started earlier, but, uh... Game is a jerk and doesn't let you change in-depth settings on the main menu options screen. To which I ask, why even have options screen if you're just gonna go? And also, in the same vein, the audio is probably going to be definitely loud until we're actually allowed to edit the settings. But yeah. Nice, uh, main menu music. Lament the lack of multiplayer options because Ubisoft is just like, we don't want to make a multiplayer game that is also part of a single player game. Which just beg baffles the mind. Why not release a standalone multiplayer Assassin's Creed game? Sure, you can make it into your life service hell. And, like, different maps could be, like, different eras of memories across from, like, Brotherhood, Revelations, Black Flag 3, etc. But no, they just never did that. And I just think it's sad, because I think that Assassin's Creed multiplayer could have been good. It's just I never got a chance to really play it. And now it's gone. Jerks. But yeah, again, audio is probably definitely loud. Because, again, this is all that we're allowed here! Which is just like... Also, cool that Assassin's Creed 1 animus glitches are being shown. That's cool. But yeah, it just baffles the mind. Why just have that? Why not let me actually edit everything from the main menu? It's just stupid. But oh, either way, let us go. No, I am not Desmond. Let's see. I'll do that manually because I do not trust doing shortcuts when I don't know the shortcuts. Dang it, that's skipping. I just wanted to change my options. It was probably just a recap like Assassin's Creed 2 anyway. Still sad that I missed it, but blame the game for not letting me actually edit things. And now I'm afraid to click the start button again because it might skip things because I'm not allowed to have control of my fate. Kill the man. He's obviously not gonna die, though. So, Ma Uncle Mario sent us here. At least, okay, good. Just overall angering. That game is like, no, you don't get to change things. Because seriously, I set these to four. <laughs> Because things get really loud. But maybe I'll bump, maybe just bump them up to five instead. They were four across the board in Assassin's Creed 2. But there. Resume. 
very kind of sad that I missed out on the Desmond recap. Where even are we? What time is it? Uh, Rebecca, what's going on? I have to run some diagnostics. I'll get back to you. That's the sun. Technical difficulties. Well, you got that right. Game. Well, that literally is the sun. You're far more echoey than you were in Assassin's Creed 2. What? I also find it funny they had to recreate this with their updated Brotherhood stuff. But hey, it seems to recognize that I had uh, Altair's armor. I wonder if that's a save bonus. It even has the right knife! Well, let's read about Ezio. Date of birth, 1459, and then the game started in 1474? Yeah, I hate math. Well, this experience has been quite the education. Although there's nothing in the history books following Ezio's disappearance from Florence as a teenager after the execution of his father and brothers, we now know that he fled with his mother Maria and sister Claudia to his uncle Mario's Tuscan villa. Trained there as an assassin, he prepared to hunt down the Templars, the men behind the execution. And hunt them he did, killing them one by one until he reached their leader, Rodrigo Borgia. With the help of his uncle and the other assassins, he discovered Rodrigo's plan to open an ancient vault beneath the Vatican, supposedly leading to God himself. Ezio defeated Rodrigo into the vault alone and communed with a projection of Minerva, a member of an ancient race that existed before humans. This all sounds very far-fetched when I write it out like that. Now, doesn't it? Fortunately, we have the Animus records to prove it, so we didn't dream it or anything. Unless we're all in a dream right now. <laughs> a new outfit unlocked in the inventory menu. And I can restart. Well, apparently the inventory is gone. Apparently. Peace at last. Well, that's not... <laughs> Peace at last, but it's not gonna last. So yeah, don't have inventory right now. Probably because we're in the middle of a... Mission. So, yeah, I think it actually is a save carryover, because I think that's my money, too. He left his robe? What, did he melt? That's ever so slightly funny. Are you going to try and get the, the apple back, or are you just... I don't think you can take the papal staff. Also, is the papal staff stuck here? Well, the papal staff is going bye-bye either way. So, there goes away one apple of Eden. Uh, now we're all going down. Again, I, I still don't know why Rodrigo left his Pope outfit. Are they going to set us on a... Okay, good, it stopped. So we're just going to have to climb out. Hey, Mario. In the hands of the earth, then in the hands of you didn't even see what happened. Uncle, what can I say? He sent a single man against an entire arm. I was worried. How'd you even get in? I mean, sure, I killed a bunch of guards and... Uh... Rodrigo kind of killed his own people. I don't think I need to see. I can kind of, uh, uh, I can see outcroppings and go, yeah, I think I can, uh, follow that. <laughs> I don't really need to look at, it's like, I need to use my special assassin genetic things. Genetic sight. There is a cat mural on the wall, it looks like. You would not believe the things I have seen, Mario. Then be sure to stay alive that I might hear of them. I expect opposition. 
and I expect the Borgia to mourn the loss of many lives tonight. The upgraded models look very good. I had no idea if it is like a Assassin's Creed Brotherhood upgrade or Assassin's Creed Ezio Trilogy upgrade. And once again, Ally is slightly faster than my one movement speed, but slower than one movement of my other speed. God will see you pay for your crimes. Well, I met you God down there. Desecrated the sanctity of this holy place. You condemn what you do not understand. We must go at you now. Time to shove him out. Can we just shove him out of the way? This is the voice of the devil. <laughs> Gently, no. Nah. Turn away from them. Turn away from them. Also, only one. Only one of my hidden braids. Hidden braid. Hidden blades. My armor blunted his attack. We're just gonna run right in front of them. They don't seem to care. I just realized this is kind of funny, because we're leaving Rome right now. We're gonna be coming back here. That much I know. Oh, I can't even select my sword. Yeah, well, you don't even have selection to only use one. What are you doing? Saving you from the look of this. <laughs> Not bad for an old man. Agreed. You still have some skills. And they changed the. Oh, oh, okay, that. No, there. Excellent. I'm fighting in a hallway because my uncle blocked my escape. That was very rude. And they shoved their guy on them. Do they blink now when they're getting ready to attack? They do. So if you want to like preempt them, you can. So that lets you like plan out your attacks better. Neat. Very nice. Follow Mario closely. He has a different running posture. I kind of like that. He's not gonna climb. Mario, this is why I'm the professional professional assassin here. That actually be... I accidentally knocked him down. At least it's nice to not be the one knocked down. I think he was trying to knock me down as revenge. Understandable. But yeah, I wonder how the contextual running will work this time. Last time! <laughs> In Assassin's Creed 2, the diddly D was quite annoying. And you can go away now, tooltip! <laughs> like, even if this was the first time playing this game. Okay, that was interesting. He's like, he saw... What we did, and he's horrified. I'm causing the AI to go insane. Mario tried to punch me down to the ground. My uncle, everybody. This is a... Then again, it also makes sense that we are getting a kind of... Nice dance there. Sh nice shuffle, uncle. <laughs> nice shuffle there. Is this gonna be my... Uh, okay. The game still has that weird, you're following a, an NPC that is climbing, therefore bad. Mario, you, you kind of blocked me there. This decision is yours alone to make. Only do so quickly. Wait. I got the apple back. Where? When? Give it to me. You can do with it as you will it. Bene. Where when? Jump! When did I get a... Or did I get a... No, because I... Then again, I did have 
I don't know. Always nice to hear Ezio's family play. Assassin's Creed. Brotherhood. This does serve as a nice introductory to Rome. Because we're going to be going back to Rome soon. So it gets to make sense. Detection meter. That also makes me wonder how this stealth is going to be. Also, it seems that they have a very a much better white balance. For the animus lighting, which is nice. The villa in 1500. I just know bad things happen. Minerva talked about the sun. She told of a disaster that occurred long ago, and another that is coming. Sometime far in the future, Vero. Then we need not worry about it. See, si. perhaps our work is finished. Would that be so bad? Cannon fire. <laughs> we upgraded the arsenal while you were away. Oh, I should have thought, it is thought of that. For you to fire cannonballs at uh, I didn't even realize. Wait a minute, we didn't have we cannons. We installed them a few days ago. My men are still being trained in their use. Well, as far as I remember, because that's another thing, I only kind of remember Assassin's Creed Brotherhood. This is basically a new experience for me. Beyond you go to Rome to fight Rodrigo Borgia's son. And you recruit assassins and train them up and stuff as a little m uh, micro game. <laughs> and then you can, like, control them and have them kill people on behalf of you. Could we even ride horses in the villa last time? I don't think we could, so... Welcome back, Ezio. The people of the Ezio. villa <laughs> say hello. Ezio. Let me see. Buongiorno. Sorry. I mean, I did upgrade this, this place, place to be very, very good, better. so... Makes sense. Thanks to you. I spent a lot of money into this place. Sure, I didn't get all feathers and stuff, but I... It is good to be home. How is mother? She's fine. I, I heard you were returning, but I'm glad to see it with my own eyes. The Contessa of Forli is here to welcome you. I had no idea you were so famous. Oh, so the bad things for Katarina haven't happened yet, huh? Is it finished then? Is the Spaniard truly dead? Well, I punched him a lot. Gather the others in Mario's study tonight. I'll explain everything but Again, there. I thought... Steal yourself, Ezio. Maybe it was like 15... Oh, something Claudia, that bad things happened. The Contessa, I look forward to seeing her this evening. Do I get to wander around the villa before bad things happen? It seems that I do. Not really what I cared about. So there are three missions. The math, the map is much smoother than Assassin's Creed 2. Very nice. Oh, it even shows you which way Ezio is facing. Plain cape, Venetian cape, Medici cape, Florentine noble attire, armor of Altair, Altair's robes, Draken armor, and that's probably more than likely one of like uh, the Alta, not Altair, the uh, Auditore cape and another thing were locked because I didn't do them in Assassin's Creed 2 because that's just way too much shit I don't have time for. No idea what the Draken armor is. It looks nice. I think I'll stick with Alt armor of Altair for a while. Also, uh, let's see. Our actual armor. Apparently, despite having the armor of Altair, I am wearing no armor. Interesting. Whereas for weapons, I have the hidden blade with three upgrades. My notched shin kekadia, sort of altair. My fists, double blade, and apparently I think that's where the crossbow goes. Oh my poor, poor abused throwing knives. My hardly used poison. My hardly used bullets. My slightly more used smoke bombs, but that was mostly out of uh, desperation. And my medicine. I think they even upgraded that model. Looks nice. Can I shop? I 
I cannot shop. They even kind of upgraded, like, the look of things. I really like it. <laughs> he put a new painting in front of the fathead. <laughs> That's amusing to me. Well, let's go do quests for the people, I suppose. Wandering around here. Is this city? This box is heavy. <laughs> well, let me t take it for you. It's flowers! Salve. Is the so box itself the actual thing? Must be very lucky. I am the lucky one. I have you here to Seriously, it. the box itself let me see must be the do. heavy part of it because those are flowers. Back there, I may have given you the wrong impression. Oh? I have no husband. The flowers are for a party. Neat. Am I invited? <laughs> to Claudia Alditori's birthday party in the villa. If you are willing to help me again, I need someone with class to accompany me. What makes you think I have class? <laughs> I could tell the moment I saw you. No one in this town walks with such bearing. I'm certain... So are we going to be invaded on Claudia's be birthday? Oh. What do you I think know we will. You? That's extra Claudia sad. thinks the world of him, but he rarely visits <laughs> From what I gather, he's distant. She doesn't She's know right. that I'm Ezio Auditore. Oh no. You? The party was intended to be a surprise. <laughs> Promise you will not tell Claudia. I will not tell what Claudia. What do you do to keep me quiet? I am sure I can think of several things. I'll be waiting to hear them when we get there. Ah, uh, Ezio the womanizer. Maybe, okay, maybe the box was heavy because you've been dragging, like, 30 boxes of flowers up here. Now about earning my silence. I have something in mind. There is one condition. Anything. You must wait until tomorrow. If it pleases you, I will not stand in your way. It will be worth the wait, Ezio. Trust me. So I, we're definitely being invaded before that can happen. That's just Ezio's luck more than anything. Then again, Ezio has already gotten just... Hmm. Does it e now tell me? Yes, it now tells me a little bit more precisely if things are above or below where I currently am. Humorous that they use the unmasked doctor face. Considering the last time I saw an unmasked doctor, I killed him. Hello, thief. What you need? Buongiorno. Ezio, Mario is going to murder me. I have lost his favorite horse. <laughs> his Do favorite horse. I will bring it back. God bless you, Ezio. I was right there. I even pressed the right goddamn thing. Oh, it just meant literally. I thought I'd have to run it down and, like, jump onto it epically. No, it's just press normally. Nice music for chasing down the horse, though. Silencio. I can no longer keep up with the horses. Promise me you will enjoy your good health. Do not spend as much time in battle as your Uncle Mario. My battles have already been won. <laughs> That's why we're playing the second game of your trilogy, and it is indeed a trilogy. <laughs> but that was nice and short. Again, thought that spamming button while running would be answer, but answer is no. Uh, we're going to have to run on the inside of the villa. It would be very poor defense to be able to climb... Uh, like, defensive walls. Oh, hey, these things! We're here, in the future! I remember those in the little bit of the multiplayer I played. So, these are the new cannons? Yes, They're like big Ezio. guns. May I try one? Yes, but... Go on, tell him. We cannot seem to make them work properly, and the fool who mounted them is nowhere to be found. Then it is up to me to find him. Don't tell me the do fool is <laughs> Leonardo. It is not any trouble. I have all the time in the world now. Uh, you are basically saying that I am five minutes from retirement. 
basically. They're like, I have all the time in the world now. All my battles are won. I'm gonna get laid tomorrow. No, Ezio. No, you are not. Hey, idiot. Salve, Messere. We need you to fix the cannons on the battlements. Leave me be. I do not begin repairs before noon. Do you know what time it is? <laughs> I make cannons, not clocks. If you are busy, someone else will fix them. Uno <laughs> no one no touches one my cannons. Touch my cannons. He's a silly little man. Soldiers have no respect for artillery. They expect a gun to work like magic. You need to feel her out. Give her a little encouragement. So kind of like zero the cannon. Equipped with simple cannons now, but I got hold of a design from France. Yeah, a hand. <laughs> I have one of those. Something called a wrought iron murderer. <laughs> Jeez, that Imagine is a name. Firing a cannon from your hands. <laughs> that is the future. I have one. Leonardo built me one. Granted, it was also from an ancient codex. Which, you know, that's kind of crazy. Ancient codex. A gun that almost... It's hard to get working now. What have you done? We used them. They were not ready for firing. You could have gotten us all killed. Let me see. <laughs> His breath is more fatal than our cannons. Only when you two fools are shooting them. There, try it. Wow, he works fast. Aim at something to test the alignment. I feel like this design of cannon is a bit more advanced. Like, you can pull it up for easier reloading. These feel like advanced. Okay, somehow that worked. Hmm. One second. Just kind of turn down the overall audio on the game capture. Just to be slight bit easier. At least someone here knows how to shoot. Now, for the other one. I must go. Thanks for your help. If you hear the cannons tomorrow, do not worry. Ah, oh, yes, again. Too bad it will not do you any good. Very funny. Now fix the second cannon. If you hear them firing at dawn, it's just target practice. Oh, you say that now. If we're firing at dawn, it's target practice. Too bad if we get attacked at dawn, it makes no difference. The enemy does not care. I didn't even know there was a pile of hay here. But yeah, basically, I only remember three things. We fight Rodrigo Borgia's son, we go to Rome, and the- oh, and also, yeah, the Brotherhood part, that exists. But also, the villa gets fucking annihilated a little bit. I think Uncle Mario's gonna die. Buongiorno, I thought bad things Not happened to you, but that's still in your what future, I fear. Of your presence here. I desire an allegiance. The papal armies have resumed their march on Forli. Your mercenaries would be a great asset to my cause. It is likely that I can give you what you seek. But we will talk later. Mother. Nice to see her being better. Her hair jewelry it is, done. is far more defined in this Lord, game. I think, as any of us expected. I entered the Vaticano and faced Rodrigo. No! He used the power of the papal staff against me, but I defeated him. From 
Combining the staff and the apple. I gained access Technically, to the he combined the staff and apple. A moving painting of the goddess Minerva spoke. She told of a terrible tragedy. That's an interesting way for an Italian man to describe a hologram. Give hope of lost temples that will provide aid to humanity. And then she called out to a phantom, Desmond, as if he were there, standing beside me. After her warning, she vanished. Amazing. I cannot imagine such wonders. The vault did not house the terrible weapon we feared. This is good. Just information. What of this goddess, this Minerva? Did she appear human? Yes, but her words proved otherwise. All of her kind died many years ago. I wish I could show you the magic she performed. Who is Desmond? And where are these temples Minerva spoke of? I do not know. Perhaps we must search for them. Tell me how it ended with Borgia. Did Rodrigo beg forgiveness? Make excuses? Promise power in return? I spared him. No. None of those things. Interesting. I'm surprised he He was still crazy. Promise. I was the prophet. I me! The Spaniard lives! Once our enemies are dead, we can speak of vaults and gods and ancient places. You should have killed him. We're sure to suffer for it. I am not here to debate the past. Together, we should discuss the future. No. I am leaving immediately for Roma. Ezio, I do not know why you spared him. I like but Uncle I Mario. Trust your judgment. Machiavelli will come around. Yeah, cuz. I forget the specifics of what happens with, like. Rodrigo and uh, his son. Uh, even all of my paintings are here. And I'm. <laughs> Obviously, this game, like, uh, takes after Assassin's Creed 2. Probably if, like, ah, you did everything. Or, then again, it's hard to tell because I did, like, 98% of everything. A standing bath. There should be a wound there because he got stabbed. They don't. They don't. Uh, like uh, explain that he did get stabbed by Rodrigo. It just hilarious considering I read your Assassin's Creed 2 bio and what happens to you. So Really, this is just Ezio gets to have nothing good. <laughs> Still love the music though. Always nice music. Also, again, just realized Ezio's girlfriend at the beginning of Assassin's Creed 2 was just like there for one scene, never again. Then Ezio upgraded to the owner of a, like, what's the proper word? Well, yeah, I guess just leader of a city-state, Forley. <sighs> Ready to go again? Ah, uh, it's the morning, it's dawn. <laughs> One should always have the freedom to choose. Gun, or cannon. What's it's that? the morning drills. And then a cannonball's gonna strike your house. I have to find Mario and rally the troops. My men are in the courtyard. I aim to lead them around back and flank our attackers. Is, <laughs> am I gonna lose my Altair armor? What grandiosity. 
I spent so much money rebuilding this damn place. It's the Borgia. How did we not see this? They must have massed to the east during the night. We need to hold them off until the townspeople have escaped. I will take care. I spent so much money on this place. Use the cannons above the ramparts. I intend to lead a frontal assault. Isn't that suicide? He's dead. He's just gone. Oh, and all my money. All my money. All my armor. All my weapons. There goes my horse. Lost all my upgrades, too. Well, at least we have muskets. Cannon fire against you, not against me. If only I had more me's. How'd they even get this much tech? And there goes my cannon. The poor city. The poor city that I helped rebuild with my own money. tower first because the cannon fire is bad but them invading in mass is bad as well you have saved it. Wait, don't yep Alone. By destroying it, you mean? Oh! I just used the gun in combat now. Awesome! Uh, I missed my armor. Oh, and apparently I go into a killing spree. I mean, I am just vastly more skilled than your average guard. At this point, Ezio's probably older than most of them, too. Oh. Who 
What the hell? Give me your weapon already. It's just hilarious that I can... I don't even know why it won't let me put my... Uh, weapon on. Yeah, it wouldn't let me draw my sword. I think it accidentally spawned a second guy. How do you even do that? How they break open the door while you walked. And why do they have just a group of noble people? I know you there, Ezio. The Pope told me about you and your little group of assassins. It's like every single time. His friend? Oh, they they kidnapped Leonardo. I think the cleansing is in order. There's too much bloodshed. Therefore, we need more so bloodshed. This an invitation from my family to yours. Uncle Mario, no. He got shot in the shoulder, the hip, and the stomach, it looked like. Depending on angle. Beepity boops. Beepity boops. I spent so much. I can walk. Look out! They are coming! Everyone retreat to the villa! I cannot fight like this. Stand with me! Why can't I fight like this? Again, game, pull my gun! Or my gun, my weapon. Just for no reason, it's like, no, you have fists now. And I fly into the air! Maybe it's just a control thing, specifics that I'm not understanding properly. I don't know why it just suddenly swapped. So that's what an execution streak is. Interesting. Cut his legs! That's very nice and shows off Ezio's, like, uh, ability. So that must be a papal guard that we're killing. Still have that stock. And at least they upgraded the thing to be much more quick. Gun is now much more viable. I will hold them back. Stop! Wait for us! We thought you had been killed, Sir Ezio. Not yet. Where does this passage lead? To the north, outside the walls. I am surprised it exists. Because it's secret. Let me through. I must go help the troops. Also, I didn't know that this Harriet! way actually had a way out. Where's mother? Is she all right? I am here, Ezio. Thank Grazie you, good. I got shot three times in quick succession. We could not leave without you. The way out will be dangerous. Protect our mother. You know, you, the youngest child of our dead family, who, uh, has no training. And again, I, I lost my Altair armor. 
Well, that's to everything. Where is Mario? He's dead. I thought he would be waiting for us. The Borgia infantry are circling the town. Mario is dead. You must leave this place. Take mother to Firenze. You know, back home. Get me a horse. We trade one home for another. Coming with us. Where are you riding? Motherfucking Rome. Roma. Go, my son. <laughs> Destroy them. Destroy them. <laughs> but remember for whom we assassins fight. Suddenly she knows we're assassins. Then again, maybe she knew that her husband was an assassin and used the, and like knew the broad strokes. But maybe not the specifics, so when she became traumatized, she couldn't tell Ezio of his lineage. Maybe you should have seen a doctor first. And your horse goes on without you. This is definitely not Aragon. Oh, Aragon's. Aragorn's horse. Battle wounds. <laughs> Lol. We're still <laughs> damaged and wounded. But I can still run. Still odd that the game doesn't like auto to Lucy, your I weapon. Lucy, I get a position on Ezio's POE. POE? Could one of you tell me what's going on? Sorry, Desmond. Peace of Eden. In the Vatican, Minerva talked about other temples that they're the key to preventing whatever terrible thing is about to happen to the Earth. Right. And suddenly, I have this bag now. I had a tattoo. And also you have a jacket. To find the temples, I'm convinced we need to get our hands on Ezio's Apple of Eden. Minerva altered it somehow when she touched it. Wait, we're at the Auditore Villa. Yes. Really? It's our last safe house in Italy. It turns out the Templars are watching the border. Ezio hid the POE sometime in 1507, but when I try to access that DNA sequence, he seems to be... Remembering something hey, that else. happened in Upstergo. Like a memory inside a memory? Yes, exactly. Well, maybe not that. Maybe. Exactly I just know that maybe. last time I believe you we couldn't jump to one. Back at Upstag, yeah. Didn't you? Subject 15 exhibited memory within memory like patterns, but she was pregnant. The memories of both the fetus's father and mother were competing. Desmond's not pregnant. <laughs> at least, as far as I can tell. Might just have had a big lunch. Can you skip ahead to a later memory? No, it doesn't work. Well, that sounds familiar. We couldn't access. We have to later get him even more Ezioified. Then it's possible something similar has occurred here. Ezio's troubled state is being transposed onto Desmond, destabilizing the memory. Either that, or Rebecca's just not a very good engineer. Thanks, asshole. What? I'm simply listing possible explanations. And that is amongst the most likely. Touchy. This place isn't secure. Cell phone surveillance can see right through the walls. Don't you mean satellite surveillance? Are you kidding? Abstergo upgraded his cell towers ages ago. <laughs> the waves go through everything above ground. They're gonna find us. No, they aren't. Come with me. So I'm gonna bomb all the cell towers. Or we're just gonna access the hidden room and go underground. Literally. And we're just gonna leave our priceless animus in an open truck. I mean, they did say that this is supposedly a safe house, but still. There's a beam blocking it from the inside. We're not getting in this way. What's our next move? The road just loops back into the highway. This is not a good place for us to be right now. Do we have any tarps? We need to cover up the van. I really hate to stress this, yeah, but we are running out of time. Well, help us then, Sean. Do you have any ideas? The team's breaking know. apart. Maybe there's another way into the sanctuary. Hey, I think I've got something. Memory time. I'm gonna catch you, ghost. I'm the new Scooby-Doo. Follow me. Desmond, not all of us can jump off of a roof and not be scared. Desmond, that was pretty... Awesome. It just felt natural. It's what <laughs> Ezio would have done. Good job. We'll just wait up here then, shall we? Yeah, all alone with, with massive targets painted on our backs. I mean, Lucy managed to climb down. Didn't he? You don't even have to do what I did. Why won't this turn on? 
It's great this to seems be like a horror house. game now. This isn't exactly my idea of a good time. Well, let me guess. You're more the inbedded six type. What, Desmond? I know how to have fun. <laughs> oh, that's very convincing. Yeah, I'm convinced. Okay, okay. After we save the world, I'll show you. Wait, can I get that in writing? <laughs> <laughs> right, but we sudden cut. Guess they needed to bake in the lighting to the area. What was that? I don't see anything. I'm seeing people who see. Run! Get out before each soldati catch you! Correte! Go! Even my memories don't have the perfected diddly dee. They escaped through here. What? Ezio and the villagers. After the attack, I can see them now. I know it's difficult, but try to compartmentalize, Desmond. Focus on the present. What if I can't stop the visions? How long before I start painting symbols on the walls? Don't joke about that. Sixteen is dead. And I don't want to die. The present, okay? You'd think that you could easily focus on it's like, yeah, sure, you're seeing visions of the past, but you know they're visions. Great. It's stuck. I can get under there. Don't end up like that skeleton. Ready. Any chance you can lift that gate? Not unless you want me to end up like that skeleton. Hey, I just said that. I'll find a way around. It is nice that we're getting a bit more modern day Desmond stuff. I can drop into the Watch out for bats. Where? I meant in case you see any. Remind me not to make you a lookout. <laughs> Desmond? <sighs> More ghosts. I'm here, okay? Stay with me. You gotta climb. Claudia? Did anything fall on you? No. Is Mother all right? Yeah, because we didn't see this section of the memories. Desmond, we can't climb this. Sure we can. How about you give me a boost? <laughs> That's a bad idea. I could throw you into the air and you grab the ledge. Even worse. Follow me. Fine, I'll just do a thing. I was doing, I got to do a cool thing. How about this? What are you going to... Ezio did it back at the villa. Nice job. I aim to please. I wonder how old these tunnels are. Middle ages, probably. Luckily, the beams still hold our weight. After all this time in the Animus, I'm not so sure. Yeah, I didn't want to say anything, <laughs> but you're really getting fat. It's not my fault I'm only Ouch. exercising my brain. I even told Rebecca to widen the Animus. <laughs> Seriously? No. That'd be mean. Up we go. Ready. Also, this is why you need to bring. Oh, hey! It's the. You know, when I came here last. When Ezio came here. Yeah, I meant Ezio. I shouldn't put you through all this. Yeah, this it's was right. the hey, Auditore family tomb. The time of my life. Yeah, it's thanks to you. Just focus on where you're going, okay? Uh, well, at least one of them isn't broken. I guess the cannon fire probably loosened the top a bit and caused bits to crumble and fall. It's possible. What are you doing, Desmond? Follow me. Technically, you're following me. And you were behind me. What are you doing, Desmond? Follow me! Into the past, Samurai Jack! Ah, is this a jump back? It's hard to tell. I assume it's a jump. Hmm. If it's not a climb there, then it's a climb down. Now let's see if this one works a treat. When did this become my job? If I pulled all the levers, then what would be left for you? <laughs> Nothing. 
Nice try. Ready? That was close, Desmond. Found a also, those bars look like they'd be wide enough to go through at least for a little bit. It would be it would be a risky venture, but I think it'd be possible. Something's open. Also, I see no problem in it. Uh, Desmond saying I came here last because I'm technically he did. Here, but I can see a lever across the water. Great. Ezio gets a bath with Katarina Sforza and I get a swim in a toilet. <laughs> oh, I need to hold it. I've got this one. That is a funny line. Great. Ezio gets a bath. There's another lever up ahead. Come over here. Yep, have to jump right in. Oh man, it's freezing. Stop whining. It's easy for you to say. You aren't swimming in medieval toxic waste. Ugh. Just wondering why he wasn't grabbing. I smell terrible. You're exaggerating. It's medieval sewage, Re <laughs> Susie. Almost said Rebecca. Too many Rebecca characters Remember, nowadays. This is the time of your life. Yeah, yeah. Desmond screams. What? I got a splinter. Ready? Go for it. You don't have to get wet. Because you're here. Huh. Charming. Aren't I? I've got you. Up Thanks. we go. Hey, we are on the other side. Hurry! The going back in time bit is not helping. Also, they just stopped fighting for no reason. Bridge gave out, or was it thrown out? Great, the bridge is out. We can't jump this. I have an idea. You'll have to help me. Stand at the edge and get ready. I'm gonna fling you, but you just said that was a bad idea. Well, actually, you ready? said that was an even worse idea. Uh, made it. Now what about me? <laughs> You go on ahead. I'll just stay here to die in the dark with the bats. Or I could swing. Jump across. Nice work. The bats will be disappointed. For now. Cassandra Kane will just have to wait. Turdati, I have found an entrance. We're not gonna try the door. You'd think these stairs would lead somewhere. But they don't. Oh, life is full of disappointments. What do you mean it leads to a door? I guess that's what you think that the memories would have something like. We found an entrance. Wait, it's nothing. If it's a fake door. Or at least that's what I took away from it. Oh god, it locked the camera again. It's going to be doing Always that. There. Good. The obscenely that obvious. Uh, I did the last one. And I'm sure that will be your last one. Ha ha, very funny. The exceedingly obvious. Got it. You know where you're going to go, but we're going to make you, it even more obvious because we don't have any faith in you camera locking. The patented Ubisoft one. That will later become a war crime. Well, at least they didn't now die. It's my turn to in the score. There. Thanks. It's a start. And then we fly across. Do your magic. Have 
go down, I guess. Or is this the way up in case you fail? Seems to want me to go down, so we must go down. Why would you even lock the camera on a ladder? That just seems obscene. We can't trust the audience to know where to go on a fucking ladder. And that's why you shouldn't fucking lock the camera, you assholes. They wanna do this and grab. But for some reason, the game doesn't let me grab, even though it's literally in line with doing things. The game is very mean. What? Stop taking control of the goddamn camera away! I hate it! The game, I can turn the fuck around! Stop taking camera control away, you assholes! Friggin' seriously. I hate it. You just should not lock camera control away. Even for a second most of the time. Unless it's like very specifically you have reasons for it. Like very, very specific. I also hate that the game's like, oh yeah, you jumped and are reaching, but we're not gonna let you actually grab anything. You'd think that's what a function like that would be for, but here at Ubisoft, we say fuck off. And now, we do the thing. No idea how that actually functions, but what do I know? Less knowing how that does that, but ancient Italian engineering, I guess. Thanks. We make a good team. I mean, you did save me. Okay. At Abstergo. That is the third one we've done in quick on, succession. Gentlemen, I can see the sanctuary. <laughs> ah, yes, my favorite. The darkness of Desmond's memories. You know, I just realized, what would happen if somebody used the Animus to visit Desmond's memories of him going into the memories of his ancestors. Like, how would that work? I feel like that would be weird. Wow. But I also feel like that would be a thing. You look so old. The future. Ezio must have come back here way after the attack. But why? Desmond. Being lost right. in the memories. Let's open that door. And also, that might be an important thing to ponder. Oh, and I know how to unlock it as well, because I watched Ezio lock it. There's something here. I'm doing it, I'm doing it. You guys did it. About bloody time. You have no idea what we went through. What's that? Looks like something Ezio left behind. There are numbers underneath it. 1419, 1420, and 1421. Are well, those the years Revelations <sighs> takes place? Maybe you should lie down for a bit. No, it's all right. I'm fine. Whoa, they really built this place to last. No signs of structural damage, no cell signal either. Should be safe to set up. Let's get the Animus down there. So that's what that is. Triangle. 
Is that a sign that we need to go to Egypt? That's far in the future if it is. Okay, everything's good here. Sean, the far the future of ancient Egypt. Make sure you aren't followed. What? What is that smell? It's my clothes. They smell like you swam through a sewer. I did. It was Lucy's idea. <laughs> Wait a second, guys. We need power down here. There's a line running nearby I can hook into, but the wattage is weak. Oh, yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. Anything else you two would like? You know, some caviar, perhaps? Maybe you'd like me to, to knit you a lovely hat. No? Fine. Follow me. <laughs> knit you a lovely hat. Also, we moved all this stuff down here really fast. I guess we added these little ramps ourselves to make getting things down a bit easier. Maybe you don't need to watch your step. Right, look around Monte Rigioni for circuit boxes. Rebecca's little doodahs, they'll reroute small amounts of electricity to the power line underneath the villa. Don't ask me how they work. If I understood that, I wouldn't be the fella hiding the van. <laughs> That's funny. It even changes the lighting to kind of like the mundane like piece. Figured I'd be able to follow the electricity line. And again, you'd think that sometime in some people would have found out about some of this stuff. And I just have to look around town. Luckily, this place isn't super duper big, so it shouldn't be terrible. It's all about finding the wires. Up oh, there's more wires. So all the lights are on in this place, which further implies that there are, like, more people here. Oh, because there's cabling, but then the cable comes round. And it goes up a little bit, though, too. Okay. My fault for not holding. Hmm, interesting. It's the mother box. Connected to all other boxes and also those clipping cables that don't even go into anything once they're inside the box are hilarious to me. And if anything, it seems like there are actually multiple of these boxes and you just need to find any four of them. So that's nice game design. Makes it go faster without like compromising things too much. back just in time the sun's rising yes it's booted we're good to go did you miss me <laughs> no anyone hello am i speaking out loud hello work alex let's get started i feel like they're being slightly mean to sean do you have any clue about those numbers under the drawing 1419 1420, 1421, maybe something to do with the Hundred Years' War, or, or wait, in 1419, Pope Martin V arrived in Florence, right? He, he left for Rome in 1420, and that was the same year Brunelleschi began building the Duomo, and in 1421, um, 
1421. <laughs> yeah, I'll have to do some more research, I think. See, moments like that make me appreciate you, Sean. What are we going to do about Abstergo? Wait it out. As soon as we find the apple, I get in contact with our other teams in Europe. But as far as Italy goes, we're on our own. Yeah. It'd be nice to have some help from above. Our top assassins are busy gathering info about the Templar satellite launch. We've pinpointed several possible facilities in the U.S., China, and Russia. But there are no clear leads yet. What are the other teams doing? Combating Abstergo's search for pieces of Eden. Ah, as far so as just I know, Shadow Abstergo War stuff. has no clue about the temples and its That's apple. good. We might actually be ahead for once. So, what do you think of Monte Regione? This is not Monte Regione. Monte Regione existed in the Renaissance. Ask me how the town was in 1554 when it was seized by Florence, and I'll tell you. Huh. I figured you'd like it nowadays. Seems not to have changed much. Exactly. Yeah. History is the study of change. Change is life. When things become static, it means they're dead. Well, I mean, they did add electricity, so... That's something. You seem focused. I've been busy patching new systems into baby here. She's only gonna get better. Is Desmond gonna be able to relive memories this time? <laughs> Matter of fact, he will. He'll snark, but he'll leave the snarking once things do. Always a tech geek? Nah, I was into sports, but then I broke my leg and started playing with computers. Who knew that coding could be just as exhilarating as strapping on a board and dropping out of a helicopter? Just FYI, you might want to get your adrenal glands checked. <laughs> you know? Because that, that is not normal. He's kind of got a point. Coding. It's so... Action pumping is just like that's not normal. You should get that checked. He's got a point. Man, back in I go. Last we were with Ezio, he was on the ground bleeding out because he was dumb and didn't decide to uh, get the most minorest bits of medical attention. Also seems to be. As you may have noticed in Loading the band, faster. I've made some improvements to the Animus, and I've also patched in a new VR training program. Interesting. Here, you can show off all those flashy moves you picked up from your ancestors. Let me open one of the missions. Oh, great. There are m actual mission missions. Ah, oh, late. Looks nice, though. Still epic. Okay, kind of mean, but should have seen it coming. Get him. Also, ever so slightly uh, mean to uh, put... Ever so slightly mean to put uh, white flashes as the hey they're gonna come and attack you as the you just one away from getting gold. Desktop. As you complete training sessions, I'll add additional challenges. Neat. Stop your subconscious from rejecting Ezio's later memories. You're gonna have to live them in the order his genome recorded. Them. Yep. Highlight sequence two for me, Desmond. Good, now select it, and you're going to see the memories inside. Once you've unlocked a memory by accessing this menu, you can relive it as many times as you want. Neat. But what if there are memories I just want to forget? Desmond, this is very important. If you need to take a break, log out of the Animus. You can leave the machine whenever you like. All right, that's an improvement. I'm all set to go. Don't worry. So that also implies there's things to do One in the real day. world? As you raise your synchronization by executing events the way Ezio lived them, you might even discover some repressed memories. Really? Okay, let's get started. Select the first memory. Repressed memories. That might be a cool mechanic. 
So I really wonder how things are going to go later on. I've been looking at those gibberish five-digit codes from the end of Subject 16's files, and I seem to have discovered a remarkable coincidence. The codes correspond perfectly with coordinates inside the Animus. Interesting. I've tagged the landmarks, pinpointed by the coordinates with eye icons in the database. This again. Now, odds are you won't find anything there, but, well, who knows? Wait, ride the unicorn cheat? What? What was that? Ride the unicorn cheat? Was that what? Did I read correctly? Calmatevi. The pain will end hell? soon. Where have you brought me? Nowhere, Messere. A man left you here. A man? Did he say anything? Only this. You are to meet Messer Machiavelli in front of the mausoleo. The well, maybe it was a good thing that Let me help you get the Machiavelli rest. wanted to ride for the Rome. The same man who brought me here gave me these clothes. See, si, Messere. Interesting. Who who dropped me off? The ghost of Altair. She does not seem at all surprised. We are in Roma. It hasn't even been a month. Roma. Yes, or what is left of it since the Borgia came to power. And the mausoleo? Unfortunately, you cannot see it from here. How about from the top of that church? Yes, but the stairs up are closed. I don't need stairs. It should not be a problem. Vi ringrazio di tutto quello che avete fatto per me, buona donna. Addio. A wilderness of tigers. This isn't Far Cry. You don't run into random tigers. Find a doctor to heal wounds from the villa attack, then climb the church tower to locate Mausoleo di Agosta. Augusto. Full synchronization. Oh, no. There are fulfillment, like, super fulfillments. Do, no oh. Do not drop below one. Which, I mean, ain't that bad, considering I... I'm only at one if I drop... I need to find the doctor. Too bad I can't run. You got all dressed, put on armor. Well, I mean, it's not really armor. You have about as much health as you did at the beginning. Oh, and I, I only have one now. So that's what that was when I was like, why am I only highlighting one uh, diddly D? It's because uh, later on in the game, you start off with only one diddly D. Hidden blade. Oh, my, my good man, I need help. Salute. I require medicine. Do you have money? Ah, uh, let me look. Someone your age cannot recover from a wound like this with medicine. Here is something to dull the pain. You will heal over time. Grazie. That's your or realizing, oh, I'm old. Suggest leeches, <laughs> but they have not proven effective against such Four things. Five doctors However, I can leeches. recommend several good colleagues around the city. Do you need That's anything That's hilarious. Else? Trust the skill of your own local medical profession. Caritas. That is honestly funny to me. Four out of five Someone doctors. <laughs> imbecile. Interesting that imbecile, which seems similar to imbecile, instead translates to jerk rather than fool. You just called a guy a jerk for s saying your age. Because, let's see, you were born in 1459? Ten feathers! Interesting. But, yeah, you were born in 1459. So, yeah, you're almost 50. You're 41, so, yeah. Kind of old. You're definitely in your middle-aged years. Especially for this day and age. What was the average lifespan of Italy back in 1500? Interesting. Borgia Tower. 
and lock things. Empty faction building? Horse stables. Doctor. Taylor. Oh, I saw a thing. This has a lot of it. My bad. This is a lot of information. Do not drop below one health square. Well, I guess I can just jump. Word has gone out that a peasant is resisting arrest. We will show him how things operate under the Borgia. What if he wants to operate Keep over the Borgia? So apparently these guys are on high alert. If they see me, they'll want to eat me. But I really do enjoy... Actually, I just realized something. Can I go to my inventory? Outfits. So if you really wanted to, you could put on armor of Altair. Even though it's canonically lost. Also, didn't realize that Roma used uh, Florentine, or whatever that is. What was it? Florence was the name of the diddly dee. Don't mind me, I am with people. I am a gardener. Why do you think I wear so much white? It is all the weed killer. Seeps into my soul. Which of course means that I'm gonna have to kill you. <laughs> because you... Oh, you horrific little gods. You are so much like weeds. Wonder if there will be any codex pages I'll need to find. Probably not, we did finish the map. Oh man, the codex page wall got annihilated. Sadness. Well, I guess maybe not. We didn't. I didn't take a look around. My dude, they're around a corner. Like maybe two corners tops. Would be bad, but one corner, my dude. I hear people losing their minds. That's not good. And the guard formation's being broken up by all the crazy people who are losing their minds. Then again, I, they did. the lady did say that things have been bad under the Borgia. Also realized how Metroidvania this is. I lost so much of my shit. Also, I just realized the game's kind of a jerk for going maintain distance. When if they go around a corner, I only have 25 seconds to catch up. I think we're still on the don't go below 25, uh, 25. Where'd the 25 come from? Yeah, don't be drop below one health square. What the hell? They know! Goodbye, friend! Ah, uh, oh. Rude. They can interrupt the execution. Good to know. 100% synchronization! I just killed men for you. Oh. Oh, that's bad. She was beautiful. <laughs> she was. Until that porco defiled her. I wish well, there's a Borgia messenger. I wish it just killed La Mia Mata. People who saw her grow up cheered when he spat on her. Smiles on their faces when her neck... I understand. How can you? My Livia was innocent. So was my family. I have lost family to the rope. To treachery. Il Carnefice watches from his home on the hill above. He threatens to hang me if I cut her rope. Why? <laughs> Rich assholes. Kill your target with the hidden blade. Sure thing. When you are ready, take her down. I will deal with Il Carnefice.
Hey, that's one of the guys from the multiplayer. You know, when the multiplayer was the multiplayer and existed. Profound sadness, that. Goodbye, dear friend. Yeah, I'm just I'm gonna play, be playing this game and be like I mourn the fact that the multiplayer is gone. Maybe somebody will be able to like mod the PC versions so that you can play on private servers or something and create a custom browser. Oh. Okay, that was epic. All my executions. Oh, hey! A loot box. Those are going away in Overwatch 2. That reminds me, I've been playing more uh, Overwatch 1 just because... At first, it was mostly about, hmm, I wonder if, uh, like, uh, Assassin's, uh, Assassin's Creed, yeah, if I'm playing Assassin's Creed, my brain has trouble multitasking with words, but I've been playing more Overwatch 1 since Overwatch 2 is going to be coming out soon, and I just, okay, I can carry more bullets than before, neat, just out of nowhere, but... Basically, in preparation for uh, Overwatch 2, I'm like, hmm, I'm going to try Overwatch 1 again. And, uh, been enjoying it. I wonder if my beloved uh, throwing knives will be able to uh, be nice and good for a while in this game. Or if things will be mean. Well, get, let's stop by a... Wait, do we, uh, like, uh, discover more things by taking... Uh, Borgia Towers. Hmm, that'll be a thing. I'm sure there'll be a tutorial on that soon. But... I've been lucky with getting skins from the level up loot boxes in Overwatch 1. And while I do say that getting rid of loot boxes in Overwatch 1 is healthier for the game, by God... Will I ever so slightly miss the ability to earn shit? Because, oh sure, you can earn the in-game currency in Overwatch 2, but they are not gonna make it good be- Okay. They're updating Valhalla. Good for you. What's this? Renovate this tunnel entrance. Tunnels can be used to quickly travel across Rome. Interesting. I'm mostly looking for any eye icon. And not sure if it was just me, but audio kind of glitched there for a second. Because I'm mainly looking for the icon, and because I... Then again, it's probably not this. I know. I'll come back over here. It's probably you. Then again, they kind of look the same. Database. I need the database. Recent entries. Uh, it looks like it's both of them. Bam. Yeah, as I was saying before I got, like, triple whammied interrupted... Uh, I definitely uh, agree that battle passes are healthier for g the game and, like, not as evil. But it is a... Because, like, again, it is much worse because it encourages, like, uh... If 
pop, 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 uh, gambling can lead people into gambling addictions, like, more easily than otherwise, but the earnability of the loot boxes was one thing that I did enjoy. And I will miss, because according to the people, apparently you'll be able to earn like uh, 60 cents worth of in-game currency a week. Which I don't know if that's like decent or utterly, utterly insulting. You get 60 cents, peasant. Especially because they are definitely uh, balancing the their payment of your free earnings in Overwatch 2 uh, are definitely being tempered by the price of the battle pass. Said one of these buildings. I don't see any glitches unless. The Maybe I just. Uh, no, because they mentioned it, and they wouldn't have mentioned it if there was going to be a tutorial, I don't think. And I assume it's like one of these buildings, because it's what was on the database entry. But yeah, in the end, to wrap up my scattered, scattered thoughts, battle passes are definitely more healthy overall, especially when compared to frickin' loot boxes, but it is a strike against, like, the free-to-play model even more so. You don't have as much ability to earn things. It's healthier, but not as friendly. Basically, people who aren't... Uh, wait. Was that about Borgia Tower? Central District. Tunnel entrance. Hmm, at the same time, I kind of... We'll go to the mission. Well, first we need to actually... Because once we get the ability to actually do things, I'm sure that we can come back and be like, Ah, oh, yes, this. Calm down, my dear man. You need not worry. Is there a pickpocket on the loose? Or is that a Borgia runner? It's a pickpocket. Come to me! Game is very rude there. I distinctly tackled him. Right out of the air. And then the game is no. You don't get to. Oh, great. They brought back the beggars. Oh, God. The worst nightmare of anybody. Apparently, the blacksmiths are up there. So it's a back alley blacksmith. Don't need to repair. Can't afford anything. It doesn't even say there. Oh, no, it says their price up there. Complete the shop quest to unlock. Very much need a lot more money, then. Weapons. Oh, so many weapons. I had all of these once. I think I liked the Venetian Falcon. Wait. <laughs> Crossbow? 
So I need to <laughs> save up to get a crossbow. Interesting. And you can sell things that you find, because I don't think... Yeah, I think these are just to sell. I don't think they're worth anything, unless they're, like, used to upgrade assassins or something. I just wanted to go to the map. Yeah, I get it. Overwatch 2 is looking to be decent, but... Oh, yeah, except for the fact that they're like, Oh, yeah, we're gonna lock heroes behind the battle pass, which, you know... It is massive garbage. Hello, Machiavelli. Ezio, what a surprise to see you here. I thought you had sent for me. Never. <laughs> Never. News of the villa attack has spread across the city. We were certain that you were dead. Somebody brought not me back. Yet. I am still very much alive. The Borgia must not discover that you escaped. I must be very stealthy. Throw the Borgia captain into the scaffolding to kill him. All right. Follow me. Take care not to draw any undue attention. When do I ever? I do like the upgraded graphics from 2 to Brotherhood. It just seems nice. You would be wise to purchase missing equipment. You will not live long in Roma without supplies. I need to get money though. I have my blade. Whip. And the guards have their guns, courtesy of the Borgia. Fortunately, I can. You're gonna you. give me a small loan. Grazie. While you are in my debt, perhaps you will listen to reason. Kill Borgia. As soon as I hear some, I will let you know. <laughs> So what can I buy now? How much money did he we give me? Well buy the stiletto and Roman spaldas. But where will my excess equipment be stored? Glad to be of service. Ben, now you can survive the journey back to Firenze. Perhaps. But I'm not going to Firenze. Oh. There will be no peace until we rise up against the entire Borgia family and the Templars who serve them. I do not recall such brave talk at Monteriggioni. They destroyed Monteriggioni, so they shall suffer. find me so quickly that they would kill Mario. Rodrigo surrounds himself with snakes and murders. Even his daughter, Lucrezia, has been sharpened into one of his most artful weapons. But she pales in comparison to the man behind the villa attack. He is ambitious, ruthless, and cruel beyond imagining. We must kill him. The laws of men mean nothing. He murdered his own brother. Yeesh. He knows neither danger nor fatigue. Those who do not fall by his sword. Lots of screaming. To join his ranks. The powerful Orsini and Colonna families have been brought to kneel at his feet. The king of France stands at his side. Give me his name. Cesare. Head of the papal armies. What does he intend to do with his power? Jar of leeches. What drives the man? That I still do not know. But Ezio, Cesare has set his sight on all of Italia. And at this rate, it sounds like his origin of voice drifts away the longer you walk. A rare virtue of the world today. Flag. I just wanted the flag. Oh yeah, and they also brought back the flags. Luckily, there's only 101 of them in this one place. I assume there aren't any other places to go. I think they just made Rome very dense. Densely packed. Hopefully! Please don't have a 5 billion nightmares to go after. Yes, Animus Whispering. That sounds like the... bibbidi bop uh, what is it? The uh, Linehead Studios Black and White whispers when Should we not a villager us? dies. Roma is quite large. As Cesare's conquests in Romagna continue to succeed and the Borgia grow in power, they have taken desirable areas of the city for themselves. We cannot use the stables here. Oh, the will of the Borgia is law now? Yep. What are you implying, Ezio? 
Do not play dumb with me, Machiavelli. Do you have some kind of plan? I'll kill them. Kill him by throwing him into a wall. Or scaffolding. So I need to climb up. Get to him and throw him into scaffolding. Is, that, is he just in a place? Do I have to kill those two guards to get to him? That would be mildly amusing, all things considered. It looks like, yeah. Doesn't look like there's any other way. Fine then. Also, once again, there it's... Maybe these are higher ranking soldiers and they're like, That is an assassin! And, uh, so they let normal people walk around and they're just like, really... Aware. Oh, damn horse. I am with people. Pay no mind. Mm, no, not you. You. Lol. I don't know why they would program it like that. What the hell? Not what I wanted, game. I need to throw him into scaffolding. I just run up, kill him. Also, don't know why a guy on a horse just ran by and smacked him with a so with a mace. Just because you kill a few guards does not mean the people will grant access to the stables. You are right. We need to send a signal. Wait here. I'm gonna burn that entire tower. A symbol of rebellion against the Borgia. Hmm, so he's calling for the uh, abolition of anybody except for him to have guards. Very interesting. Synchronize while I'm here. I mean, they have a synchronized button, which means this is, must be the synchronized. And that would be an interesting, like, uh, thing. If, to, like, upgrade the synchronization towers to actually be something. Kind of like the, uh, towers were in, uh, Far Cry 3. Where if you did enough of them, you got stuff. It seems the stable is now available for purchase. Lol. Dear God, somebody <laughs> burnt an entire tower? Freedom! <laughs> Renovate this horse stable for zero florins. Or francs or whatever the F stands for. Zero fucks. That's what that basically is. And now I get horses for free. Don't lose any health. <laughs> so I need to be careful and not lose any health or I'm gonna have to restart this. Is there a restart memory button? There is a restart memory button, good. Don't lose any health. Play it super safe. Machiavelli almost ran me directly into a group of guards. Machiavelli's trying to kill me. 
Or at least make me lose my 100% synchronization. I need those repressed memories, Machiavelli. Noted. You excel at opening wounds, Ezio. But can you also close them? I intend to heal the sickness, or treat its symptoms. Stop sparring with me. Fine. Let us talk openly then. Rodrigo Borgia's death would not have solved anything. I am inclined to disagree. It's Cesare, you isn't it? Isn't it though? The center of Borgia and Templar rule. Killing one man will not change things. We need to take away the source of their power. Are you suggesting we appeal to the people? Yes. Maybe. Relying on the people is like building on the set. You are wrong. Our belief in humanity rests at the heart of the assassin brother. We must. <laughs> he must be from your inner circle. Law. Go. Get back with your stone. Recruit him as well. I will wait at the Campidolio. I am meeting a contact there. Give me back my money. <laughs> the, way, the way he said that is hilarious. Come back here. Give me back my money. <laughs> Get out of here before I regret sparing your That's life. just a hilarious line. <laughs> Give me back my money! <laughs> oh, it makes me laugh. But we can go uh, synchronize and look for a goddamn thing. Oh, but that line read was hilarious to me. I did lose my entire home. And now to be a hypocrite. I'm going to steal lots of people's monies. Granted, I am not as obvious as the fools. And I'm also going to have to look for... I've never seen a stranger man. Ezio, he's been in Rome for five minutes. And people are already looking at him going, Man, look at this freak. He climbs walls. Why is there grass on the roof? Like, uh, this isn't just vegetation. This is down and out <laughs> grass. Now I need to look for any sign of the thing, because first I need to make sure that the Subject 16 symbols are the same, and also, dear god, this music is basically foreboding as hell. And plus this double works out, because I'm just extra looking for the... Synchronization point. I right hear. Twinkle, twinkle. Oh, it's because it's a feather! I thought that twinkle, twinkle was like, I'm in the right area for memories. Nope, I'm in the right area. Well, I guess technically a feather is a memory. Then again, the things should twinkle, twinkle as well. Oh. Dear God, don't be in there. I don't think I can even get in there and get out. So I don't think it would be in there. I don't know where the thing is either. Oh, thank God, the flags are on the map. I still need to find the goddamn... Goddamn, goddamn. Maybe, do I need to buy a landmark to open it up and get access to the symbol? Probably. Also, isn't this the place that the 
Uh, probably not, but this kind of reminds me of the place. Oh, I can go in. But apparently I can also buy it. A.K.A. renovate it. Oh, it is under the influence of a Borgia Tower and cannot be up. I don't... You don't have to show me! You just told me... Oh, okay. That kind of angers me. There you are. So they are bright, still. Do we st it seems that we don't have the leap technology. Yeah, my bad. It's down there in front, uh, uh, above the, uh, the doorway. Oh, and it can only be seen. Oh, that's dirty game. And I climbed into it. That's new. <laughs> it's a fucking box! Now it's many boxes. And they're flying about. You dropped out of the grid. Where were you? Not sure. Some kind of fragmented memory? Maybe you should stop. <laughs> I'm good. I want to keep going. Maybe you should stop. Cluster one. Oh boy, I wonder how evil the puzzles are going to be in this game. Loading. Masters all. They did not work, but ruled from on high. Doesn't even give me names. Nope. Up. Pick the... Oh. Op. Opulent. So I'm missing some. At least they put in the ability to... They ruled from on high. That's what they, this is. Definitely not the farm workers. Masters all. They did not work. Oh, because there was a master on high not working in that one. Okay, I'm dumb. I was like, there's work it. Don't tell me. Moving away from the sovereign. Moving away from the sovereign and he cross and his cross brow, the people take two steps forward. So away from the king. Am I, am I gonna be playing a chess game through memories? They become increasingly aware of our existence. We can no longer rely on the divine right of aristocracy to maintain control. We need a new system, something more subtle. That's from the Templar. Interesting. Loading. Quarantine zone. Cluster quarantined. I'm clicking the button. Oh. There you are. Quarantine lifted. I was wondering what that was. It was a cursor. I'll put 16's video files here. Hopefully they'll begin to make sense as you free up each file. Interesting. Truth 2.0. How many are there today? 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Only 10. I kind of like this. Like a uh, simplified thing. There's treasure there. Hmm. What's that? Rosa and Fiore? What the fact does that mean? Legend! What the hell is it? So, we can go. Oh, great. We can go to different places. Like Florence, Venice, Vienna, Montagioni, 
Christina? Christina is here. Cortesan assignment. Ah. Lair of Romulus. Interesting. And I'm guessing that is like, oh, it diddly D, it's uh, broken and not working. And oh, yeah, that's just the symbol of the flag. Uh, it's a new symbol, so I look at it and it's like, what the hell is this? It's a, it's a new flag symbol. Might as well get it off my map. I'll go gather that treasure. And uh, we'll just run about a little bit doing the, your, the normal. You're not as smart as the archers, are you? I'm just going to pull an Altair and stab you with uh, the air. And take your money, too. I got wool! I can buy banks. Interesting. Well, we're gonna go over here, grab treasure, then... Viewpoint. And you just kind of do things. Why not? And I can... For a moment, the glitches stayed over uh, the chest. And I was like, what? Did Ezio miss something? Game! At least the game is nice and doesn't, like, super hurt you all that much. I didn't cut no purse. I may have stolen, but I did not cut no purse. Wish I could steal from the guard. They instantly notice and be like, what the fuck? But obviously the bank has to be... Like some kind of thing. Jesus Christ! 28,000? I think this is retribution from on high? From the developers going, Oh, so you're gonna complain that you have nothing to spend your goddamn money on, are you? Well, fine. Here's all the money that can be used. It'll take forever for you to get your money. Yeah, I definitely need a new sword. Because what sort do I have right now? Inventory. Weapons. Common sword. Fair enough. Are you going to throw rocks at me? Nope, the beggars just go away. Good. Because that is the one thing that would make me go... From Ezio, the pure boy, to Ezio, murderer of the poor. I mean, technically, he, he himself is poor right now. Green Jasper. So Jasper's green cousin in Steven Universe. Also, I'm just going to say it. Jasper does not sound like a gym or jewel name. All these years, like before, even before, like Steven Universe, my brain just went, hmm. Well, yeah, I'm this goddamn place. Now, we. They kind of made it harder to look for shit because. Well, at the same time, they also did, like, make it better to use overall, so I guess it's not terrible, but. Oh, yeah, and I forgot. Uh, we can't exactly do this one, can we? Now that's ragdoll physics. Oh! Oh ho ho! There you are. God damn it, Ezio. Still miss the jump feature that you can do on walls. 
<laughs> I climb into the wall. Damn it, Sean. Why'd you talk now? Desmond. And then he just disappears. Cluster 2. Loading. Loading. The individual intends only his own gang, and he is in this, as in many other cases, led by an invisible hand to promote an end which was no part of his intention. That is a signature. I can't read it. Loading. By the... All right, that's just showing me what it is. Wait. Is that correct? Or would it be more like this? More like that. Oh, it does that again! No! <laughs> All right. All right, okay. And then that will still be turning that, but at least I can do, like, all the others. So, they're not as cruel. But, Jesus. By far the great, greatest part of those goods, which are the objects of desire, are procured by labor. And they may be multiplied, not in one country alone, but in many, almost without any uh, assignable limit, if we are disposed to, uh, disposed to bestow the labor necessary to obtain them. Loading. And the cruelty. So it doesn't actually show me. It's just like... Surprise. Interesting, that... Ah, that's kind of why, but it's kind of pointless, because then I can just do that. Much simpler, I kind of prefer this. Because, again, my brain just fries if it goes too far. A great empire has been established for the sole purpose of raising up a nation of customers. It cannot be very difficult to determine who have been the contrivers of this whole mercantile system, not the consumers, we may believe, whose interest has been entirely neglected, but the producers whose interests has been so carefully attended to. Loading. Is that a fight? Oh, that, that somehow works. Ah, it's upside down, so it goes... At least I think it's upside down. There we go. A country that makes provision to increase in inhabitants, whose situation is good and whose people have a genius adapted to trade, will never fail to be gainers in the balance, provided the labor and industry of their people be well managed and carefully directed. Loading. Lo 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 lo. Is it mocking me? Loading. The workforce increases, brother right beside brother. Yeah, this literally is a chess game. Brother beside brother? Alright. Could have been both. Loading. Quarantine zone. Hello, Hal. Goodbye, Hal. Oh, oh it's just taking a bit. Oh, there's two in this one, alright. So 
So one's over here. All right, that Born makes it interesting. Ended. I wondered why it wasn't ending. I don't know if you're looking for something from 16, but last time scanning an eagle vision seemed to help. <laughs> so yeah, I don't think I'll be able to do this one just yet until I can do the reach up and grab like before. Yeah. Then I'll go ahead and do a Borgia Tower. And I'll probably neglect doing that. Maybe I don't know. Hmm. Borgia Tower. Borgia Tower. Ding ding. Go from there, I guess. Again, just for bib for boarding music. I wonder if it was even possible to do the Borgia Tower before the mission proper. I hear shiny. There's nothing drunk or... Well, I guess I do kind of wager my life each time I do this. Please visually ascertain if the road is visually dirty before throwing out your grass. Interesting. Now ah, they are called Florins. And you literally can't steal from the poor. Probably be less because the game just won't let you do it, and more like they have nothing. Honestly, surprised there isn't an achievement for that. Stealing from the poor. Then again, it's thematically relevant because I am a banker's son. I almost ran into the guard, who most certainly would have tried to kill me for such an aggression. Ah, money! And jar of leeches! I wonder if there's, like, value in selling certain things to certain places. Like, can I sell a jar of leeches to uh, a doctor? And will he pay more for it than a blacksmith? So I first need to kill the Borgia Lieutenant. Difficulty five. I don't know why it's called difficulty five. Hmm. Maybe if I is it possible? No. I was hoping that there would be, like, an archer that I could throw their body down to drag them out. Oh, maybe that's why, because there's a big boy up here. And there's lots of dudes. So this is part of the difficulty. Oh. That's kind of mean. 
Wait. Oh. Yeah, kind of mean game. The last one tried to fight me, or did he? Yeah, the last one tried to fight me. So it's kind of rude to not... Why is this guy faster than me, too? Asshole game. Not actually explaining anything properly. So yeah, I don't think I like that. That's kind of stupid, all things considered. We're not gonna explain how this works. <laughs> it's difficult because we decided to be an asshole about this. Again, they did not say that the Borgia captain would flee, because the last one didn't. That's just a lack of information being given to the player. Maybe there's a visual design difference between running captains and fighting captains, but... The player isn't going to discern that when they're going in for the kill nine times out of ten game. I feel like that's a little bit contrived, if you ask me. Ah, uh, yes. He's a run man. He runs very, very fast. Eh, uh, maybe you're just an asshole game. More than likely, I think you're just an asshole. Perfect. We fight for a cool absolute power, but not I. We fight for an absolute power, but not I. Hilarious. I do like that there is... <laughs> I still love the combo, and that it doesn't take any ammunition. That's just wonderful for me. Chase music is also a bop. And I'm also gonna say, kind of jerkish, that they also like... Oh yeah, and on this one specifically... Darn. Uh... Darn you, game. I personally say stop blocking off tower availability unless you have the jump or not. Why would you even lock away the jump? <laughs> God fucking damn it. I don't like this. Just need to find some way up. I just want to be able to get up. So obviously this one can be done without the jump, but it feels like that was, like, made for the jump there. That they took away for no reason. Maybe it's because, oh, Ezio is crippled now. He needs to learn to deal with his injury. You need to first. If the game threw me down to the bottom, I would have been very angry. And now, Ignite. The Borgia make shitty towers. <laughs> what I'm getting from this. Instant replay. So yeah, I'm gonna need to wait until I get smoke bombs to tackle this asshole again. So yeah, do that one, do that one, then mission. Or I guess maybe we could try that one. Ah, screw it, that one, then those two, and we'll do the mission then. I'm still annoyed at the I'm gonna run away, Captain. When... The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like there should be a thing that says, oh, he's gonna run. 
Like, I guess maybe I could bait him out by throwing a throwing knife at one of his guys. He'll instantly start running to safety. But it also depends because there could be multiple, like, doors that he could try to get away from you from. He's very annoying. I am the main criminal man of everything. He didn't even knock into me. I'm going to steal from you because you're an asshole. There is no weasel here. <laughs> I also like that they brought back the vigilantes, so it definitely feels like somebody was w wanting Assassin's Creed 1 back a little bit. They used the same icon. Difficulty three, so I'm gonna take that as difficulty. He's not an asshole. Also, the guards are way too good at looking up. I also like that they... The guards are just very obsessive. It makes sense. They, I have no knives. He was walking away, then he realized, wait, there was a dead body there. I need to cover my ass. I'm going. That works for me. And I got bullets. How many bullets can my gun carry now? Also, it seems worthwhile to loot guards now. Which is always nice. Velvet! That'll go for a pretty penny. Alright. Now I should... I'm gonna put on that. In case that there are any guards that are like, Hey, you... That's not what I game. Guards don't see, guards don't see, guards are blind, please. More than likely the agile guards that were there and about will Alright, they're not agile, they just kind of look agile. That was close. The game screwed up. The jump. There's a guard there. That's bad. Maybe I can just stealth assassinate this dude. Okay, there was just... They have a one guard guy? On this side? Or did... Oh, that was his personal guard. And after I killed him, they... Disappeared? Sure game. Also note to self, it is worthwhile uh, staying around to loot guard captain bodies. And it is looking like I will not be able to do this one because the game is a jerk and... Unless I can do it from the front! Yes! 
they are kind of going back to the annoying we have to make climbing a task in and of itself. I personally don't like that. Climbing is a cool thing, but it should not be, like, very rarely it should be a puzzle. Because you're already going to put in cool little, ooh, like uh, dungeon parkour puzzles, which are nice. But climbing a synchronization tower, I don't think a synchronization tower needs to be arduous to do. And while I'm half sure that the game would be nice and synchronized when I burn a tower down, I'm not going to risk it. I refuse to risk it. Again, totally could be just instant synchronization when you do that. I'd rather not risk it, though. I would just prefer to not risk my bacon there so I can renovate a blacksmith and the bank would probably be five billion dollars hey bank how m oh then again this is a lower bank so it's probably only gonna be one billion dollars take my money So the more banks I have, the more money I get. Come before the vault is full. Interesting. Very interesting. And let me guess, it's 10 for this area. 800? Sure. I'm going to fall in love with renovating, aren't I? I can afford the Venetian Falcon, but it doesn't do much damage, but it has better speed and deflect. Ah. Ooh, but that does a lot of damage. That one has good damage and speed, and meh, deflect. I miss my Altair. Requires the heavy sheath for, from the tailor shop, because it's a heavy weapon. Interesting. Very interesting. So it seems that the shove... She I, uh, that bastard, that motherfucker. But I still need to save up for a crossbow because moi, crossbow, elephant ivory. That's illegal. Jars of leeches, very hardly even worth selling. Jasper, sure. Velvet, sure. There was probably a sell-all all option, wasn't there? Nope, there wasn't. Again, maybe the jar of leeches is better sold to a doctor. Just it again. But okie doke. Renovation seems like a good investment. Let's go, like, renovating those two. Oh, I can call horse. I guess if I'm in an area that's nearby is oh no. Maybe it's just like any area that is technically viable. The bards have returned. The bards guild will seek their revenge. Help! There will be no help for you, little man. For I am the help. How much to hire a doctor? 650. That's like a piece of velvet in this world. Do you take leeches? And it is the same price, so it is not worthwhile going from place to place. Very neat. My entire job is pointy objects.
Oh, that wasn't a bank. That was a whole thing. Got you. Then I'll definitely go over and renovate the actual bank. I don't know why I thought it was a bank. Maybe because I was moving towards it on the map, and then I hovered over a bank and went, Oh, it's a bank, because I'm dumb. That's always an answer. When you're dumb, the answer can be anything. I must ha ha hire a tailor for this area. I miss my villa. I can even dye the cape. Very nice. Bit ex parachutes. Parachutes. Pouches. Interesting. Unl I need to buy that for smoke bombs. Large bag? Oh. <laughs> Alright, interesting. Alrighty then. I just hired you, asshole. So yeah. Very interesting. The ability to renovate things is always interesting. Out of the way, false horses. My real horse is over there. The invisible wall of horse ass. Never thought I'd see the day. Out of the way, I own these streets now. This is Ezio Auditore streets, not the Borgia. And the best thing is you know you like it. I wonder if we're ever going to run into that lady. Like, there has to be a thing about running into the lady who is just like, I am indebted to you, Ezio. Ha ha ha. Like, that has to be something that's going to come back in some way. It has to. Sure, why not? Surely renovating the banks gives me a super boost. Eh, kind of. Alright. Next is those two at the very least to reveal more of the area. And then I think I will be saving up for a crossbow. And I wonder if I should just kill the guards. See what I can get off their corpses. Guard, guard, I need help. That's not... Well, he deserved it. He got in the way. Hug tech me. Uh, I wanted to hug tech you. How dare you. Timing's still pretty difficult. Interesting. Big on. Big on. No horses for you. Well, actually, I should use my heal and then loot these guys. It's not my fault that that carrying guy got in the way. He down Mr. Presidented this papal knight or whatever. I'm just looting bodies. Don't worry about it. Just looting. I'm looting bodies. Looting bodies is not illegal, Mr. Knight. As you can see, everybody who tries to stop me dies, which means I am in the right. Ah, uh, you so long as you're not carrying a box in between a bunch of guards, you should be fine, mister. 
Okay, I, ha I have I have to know what the hell goes into owning like art. I don't have a place to put the art. I have no place to put the art, but I just have to know like what the hell. Seriously, you'd think that somebody who like rules a city would want the city to be prosperous. My frickin' villa was more prosperous than this place. It's just that it's bigger. So I can buy treasure maps. Natch. Sure. What does it do? Does that do anything? So it doesn't seem like buying paintings does anything? Oh, the Tibir Island hideout. But it doesn't seem to give me money. Which is what I liked about the previous paintings. This painter man just sell me a treasure map to his own hidden goods? Ah, who are we kidding? It's somebody else's hidden goods. Why would it... Who in their right mind would be like, I am going to go around the city. I am going to take note of where each person puts their valuables. You should not be up here. Leave. Apparently he doesn't care. That's By skimming the top of his head, he's very poor. I want that body. Give me your bodies! I'm Mr. Ginyu! Well, Captain Ginyu, whatever. Because I get things from these bodies. Mainly restocking. <laughs> Who needs to go to a blacksmith to get things when I can just kill some guards? They're like little lunch boxes. Now, if only I was capable of selling, like, the medicine and bullets that I get. That would be, like, very cool. I also love the fact that they realized, oh, wait. Nobody used the gun in the second game because it takes a long time to load up. And it's just, like, it's not all that good in the super-duper end of things. So, like, fine, it goes fast now. It goes fast, and it's used mid-combo. I thought that was a guy there. What even is this? What is this tower? Empty faction building. Ah, that becomes important later when I actually have factions to do things with, maybe. Can I buy this building? How much is it? Oh. For a faction. Faction available requires rebuilt faction headquarters. Interesting. So I get to choose, like, what group of people I want in any area. I'll probably just get courtesans, 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 because... Uh, uh, maybe thieves? Hmm. Well, it depends, depends. Pomander. Is... That sounds like it would be the pun of, like, a, a little dog who is the commander of, like, a rebellion. Commander! The Empire is here! What do we do? Don't worry, sir. Wait, I am, sir, because I'm the commander. Ha ha ha. Stop laughing, our people are dying! Ha ha ha. Well, shit. I have to climb this entire thing in super contrast mode. I think that's the Pomander right now. Hmm, even a feather is shown. It lit up bright, so I immediately went, Is that the symbol? I basically went cave, cave, caveman SpongeBob. 
I see a bright light in Eagle Vision. I go, <gasps> Is that it? But now I need to climb this thing so I can get the get feather, look around. Well, maybe. So I don't think this is like the same place. I think this building and that building are two different like legendary buildings or whatever. We will know once we climb this damn building. Unless this building is one of the <laughs> we're gonna make it hard to climb. Come on. It is not that far away. You don't need to grab into the crack of a building to climb it. Come on. Well, I guess the top ridge of those were broken, but still. The game wouldn't be nice and just show it to me, would it? Because the game is a jerk. Synchronize. In eagle vision, so it looks like the skybox is gone. Hilarious. That's not what I wanted to! Ah! I just wanted to turn off Eagle Vision. The game is mean. I still don't. I need to see. Uh. Because there was the thing. What was the thing? Additional memories, viewpoints, Borgia flags, Borgia flags, feathers, secret locations. Oh, how kind of you. But yeah, I, I still don't understand something in that. What was that thing about a unicorn that I read in the corner? I see you! Oh, game is rude. I have to go back up there. Why would you put it on the one cliff face that nobody's gonna... Uh, they did that on purpose. They definitely did that on purpose. Hey, what if we put the glyph on the side of the wall that nobody's fucking gonna climb? And then if they have eagle vision on when they jump down, they'll see it. Yeah, it's just an asshole thing to do. It's just... I'm gonna say it is a shenanigan spot that wasn't done because, hey, what if it's cool if we put it here? It's more like, wouldn't it be funny if we just screwed with our players this way? And I do not advocate for that kind of gameplay choices. I'm all for making, like, difficult things every now and then, but they have to serve a function. Like... Dark Souls. Its difficulty serves a function. In that, while yes, they wanted to make something difficult, it still serves the gameplay loop that the game is going for. Just going lol symbols here, asshole, is not, uh. Does not seem. Do I have to drop and grab into it? But I don't think I can because if I drop and grab into it, won't I just fall into... Okay, no, I can. Good. Hey, Desmond. Sean, I already know. It's the second time that you've only activated right when I grabbed the memory. I think he's trolling me. I genuinely think that Sean is trolling me. I also need to remember that I can leave this whenever I want. Don't know the purpose, but I can. Should probably do it after each memory sequence, maybe. Okay. Missing. If you knew Morse code, you probably already know what that is, but I don't know Morse code. Loading. Access denied. Washington sits above the green in 1944, keeping a cool head. Below the right one is the standard bearing, 48. 
Behind there is no company whose power is growing. Uh, the key, okay. The gate, okay. Slash zero goes on nine. So all of them are, oh. <laughs> I thought we needed to put five, uh, I thought five was the thing, okay. All right, two, we need uh, a screwed up four. Seven. Wait. R equals four. Oh, okay. Um, R. R. We don't have an R in here. So if zero over nine, but then this one is, oh wait, no, we do have the, because we have fucked up four and, ah, there's R. It was just somewhere else, okay. To go to four, seven then becomes slash, slash zero. All right, now dot one needs to go over five, in which nine then becomes slash zero. And then line dot over zero. For eight, which becomes screwed up f reverse four? No, it wasn't that. Or is the... Hmm. Or is this it? Incorrect coordinates, it says. Because, yeah, upstairs go. Hmm. Hmm, 48. Incorrect coordinates. Yeah, that th it is saying things. IMF. Hmm. I find myself more reliant on solution. IMF. So I think I got the right, the right one, apparently. So yeah, all of them are incorrect coordinates, but at the same time, I like get the correct coordinates, but I get, what if it was a wrong one? So two, this two would then... Oh... It's... Wait. It's hard to tell. Like, it, when something is upside down or not. Because both of them... Both of these zeros... Are flipped. 
Like, the ones down here, I don't know. Because if this 0 over 9 makes to a 5, so let's try that one. Or the fucked up 5, as I call it. Alright. R over 4. R. Let's first find R. R. Over f over four. Okay, yeah, because there's R and then five. R over four, seven equals a zero. Are there different zeros? Ah, uh, motherfucker. And again, it's impossible to tell when one is upside down or not. All right. Dot line over five. Nine equals zero, but it's hard to tell which one is which. Because I think they're the same goddamn zero. And again, I don't know, like, which side is up for this. Alright. Who knows? Maybe it means, oh, no, no, it needs to be this. But it can't be or else there would be, like, upside down R's for the four or whatever. <laughs> I'm going to assume that it being up here, that is the correct orientation. So that is... So this would be dot line. Then making... Yeah, that would be the wrong O, which would then be... This. I didn't see all phone. I am doing code breaking. And at least it's an interesting code. And once again, let's find... Alright. Nope. Line dot over eight. No, not over eight. Over zero. Which then makes eight... <laughs> Because again, neither of these O's are correct. Maybe they fucked up. I. What advice do you have, Sean? Because this puzzle's fucked. Right, it seems that the coordinates you chose lend this code its key. So set the wheel to the first pair highlighted on the left. Then scroll to the symbol that corresponds with the number. Repeat that for all four slots of the code. I'd do that if it weren't for the fact that the code is fucked. Let's do it again. It seems that the so set the wheel to the first pair highlighted. Yes. Or scroll to the symbol that corresponds with the number. Hmm. Repeat that for all four slots of the code. I do that, but again. Both of these O's are fucked. Or are they? Okay, my brain just did a flip a dip. Okay, my brain did a flip a dip. All right then. Two becomes squiggly four. I could have sworn they were the same. But again, my brain also implodes on the like ring one, so. It's understandable. My entire thing is just broken. Loading. Kind of rude to have flipped zero slashes, but hey. They're the one who makes the puzzle. At the end of the day, I kind of recognize it, but then I still kind of screwed up in my brain. It was all on me. July 22nd, 1944. Fellows, rulers, welcome. I deliver this speech to you. As several floors below us, a silent revolution begins. Ronnie Olds and Henry Ford, as many of you know, these founders, gave us the assembly line. The device we have used to control both of those indoctrinated into the work... 
ownership of our money, capitalists, and workers, slaves alike. But I dream of a future in which such ugly chains will no longer be necessary. In 1910, our co-founders designed the plan. It falls to us to see it through. By what of the communists who intend to spread the bread so thin that everyone will starve? It is our duty to neutralize, save them and their followers. We must ensure that they continue to eat, to reproduce, and to be productive members of society. That is what our burden, to shepherd those beneath us through life, and we must embrace it even if force is required. They themselves do not. H and S brought on the turmoil and fear necessary. Now we must strike fast to ensure development continues in the proper direction. We will appear to co uh, concede ground to the workers. Remember the successful ruse of Rockefeller's dimes? But soon there will be no ground we do not own. In 1937, we founded this company, this enterprise, with a purpose to nurture the fruit is upon us. Yeah, that basically oh, tracks for capitalists nowadays. As a concession, a small piece is sacrificed for a greater good to come. And again, we're continuing to play chess. Loading. Quarantine zone. I kind of like that. It's interesting. Interesting enough. And that's already three clusters. I don't know if you're looking for something. And again, you're just trolling me, my dude. And now we shall go do the mission because why not? Eh, grab that along the way. Because we've been doing a bunch of rigmarole, so off we go to do an actual mission. I don't mind doing a mission. It is very interesting that three glyphs are in the same area. So I just kind of hope that... <laughs> I just kind of hope that there aren't like ten clusters for each goddamn place. Each district. I broke my knees for this treasure. Give me a billion dollars. It's all I got is a stupid rabbit's foot. A rabbit died for this foot. Never understood that suspicion. That, or superstition. Why would you think that a rabbit's foot is lucky when the rabbit whose foot it was is now dead? Not exactly lucky when the original holder of that foot is dead. Did you liberate your money from our friend? I did. A small victory. They are up. And in time, with work, we'll have a few dozen more. And in time, Cesare's gaze will return to us, and we'll be broken again. Now, where is my contact, Vinicio? He should have already intercepted the letter. Follow me. All right, what is the 100% synchronization bonus this time? Catch the Borgia carrier in under one minute. Oh, boy. Can I shoot him? I hope I get to shoot him. I'm gonna get my gun ready to shoot him. Playing the chase music is kind of funny. Wish I could steal from everyone who touches my horse. Where is your courier man? Where is your courier man? My little friend, my Machiavelli. When can I shoot a man? The Pope is very clever to keep this place in business. It fools your friends, the people, quite easily. <laughs> your friends, the people. I merely describe the reality of Roman today. But all may not be lost. The good news is that... Uh, he's only driving one-handed. How much longer this will last, however? Great, there's a glyph on the Colosseo. I guess it makes sense, but still. 
to hold your friends at hostage. He was attempting to steal official Vatican mail. Perdonate me, signore. You must be mistaken. Who are you working for, ladro? I am He's putting for his hammer up to his head. What we do to you. That is hilarious. He held the hammer up to his face. Ezio, stop him. Find me at the pyramid. That was easy. And I shall loot your body because it, there is no punishment for this. Oh, it is so good to fucking kill that asshole. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, it is good to murder couriers. We're going to go over there and then we'll grab that because why not but oh killing a courier it feels so good does that make me Benny I know that there's a glyph there but I just do not care not right now oh boy how much does this cost to renovate I can't I don't care I know it exists. I've already mocked it. Yes, but you looked at a thing, which obviously means you don't know that there is such a thing as this. We must head up there. It'll be like, oh, difficulty 10. Oh, this entire goddamn place is illegal. It is a difficulty area five. Understandable. I have throwing knives, which are effective. So long as these guys don't get upgraded, I am going to love my poor, 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 poor throwing knives. Thank you for bringing them back. I don't think I can do this tower like uh, if he runs and this feels like a runner he's a difficulty five I don't think they'd be nice and just let you which means there has to be a secondary way in I would assume and of course there is hidden amongst the maze of this world. Or is that the only way in? Yeah, that's just a doorway to a broken room. But I don't feel that they would... Again, this has to be... Lol, there is a doctor here. Like, maybe I could get one guy's attention back off quickly. I, th 
think that's the only way I'm getting in there. Arouse just enough suspicion that he comes after me. Just enough. You want to follow me around the corner, don't you? Don't you, little man? Hug tech. Give me your weapon, and then die! How dare you. Okay, it doesn't seem like he noticed, which is nice. Because I was mainly fearing, since it was a similar thing and it was far away and lots of dudes, I was like, hmm, is this going to be mean and have him run? Maybe he actually needs to see me and it's not an immediate sound the alarm everyone knows they have to actually be in a vicinity. I still kind of miss my double blade. I want to part of the difficulty is you have to go deeper and deeper down, down, down. In that case, I should probably highlight the dude, and then it'll tell me if it's up or down. Apparently on the same level now. That's nearby. That is definitely nearby, so it feels like if that guy dies and is alerted, he'll get notified. That's what it feels like. Respond. I'm losing you. Okay, so he just respawned. So you can't cheese it that way. Interesting. Very interesting. I'm getting close to being able to afford my crossbow. Where did he go? Sword is not down.
Goodbye. You still get punched. Okay, at least that... I was kind of right. He was gonna flee. But luckily, he was not in a good place to flee from me. And that's all that really matters to me. Now I need to find a way out, which is right up here. And these respond as well. You are poor swordsman. And now I can burn down the tower. I just need to find the tower. The tower's over there. Because I don't think... I still don't... Wait, I think I heard twinkling? I hear... Where's the twinkling from? Is there... I heard twinkling. Hmm. Like animus twinkling. Of like, ooh, there's a thing, you fucking idiot. But now we can climb this and burn it down. At least that's nice to know for these bigger zones. If you indeedly do get into a fight, you only have to be, oh, if it's like the guard group next to him. Okay. I was wondering how it would take that. Uh... Oh. Aha! Uh -huh. I need to go down to go up. Game. I would like I'd like to go to the side. I'd like to shimmy. Oh, game. Game! For the love of God, why did you take away the leap jump, you assholes? Fucking why? I hate that you can't, like, easily re-grab onto the tower. Oh, shut the fuck up, assholes. It's just a stupid gimmick. Just let me climb the goddamn tower. We must make climbing tower arduous because difficulty. Stupid decision. Aha! See if we can cheese the shit. I don't think we can. I kind of cheesed this shit because now I can actually climb this because the fucking game won't let me shimmy onto the side if I drop from the wooden platform, but I can most definitely probably go onto the wooden platform from the goddamn thing. So stupid. Utterly infuriating. I loathe it. I hate it. Like, at most, make it so that you can scale the tower just from one face. Well, I'm like, uh, from, yeah, like, one face just all the way up. I get it. You want to make it kind of interesting, but it just feels like a waste of time. And just arduous. Again, maybe they expect me to get the jump by now. For mid-climbing. But I don't know how late into the game that is. I did... I'm still annoyed that they were like, and now we will take the jump away. Why? Why would you take the jump away and... Where is even the next mission? The next mission is all the way over there. We'll hit, hit, and then just go right to it to finish things off, I think. Magical horse, come to me. Yeah. 
I do find it funny that they're like, we have to continue the investment part of Assassin's Creed. I guess that does make sense, because Ezio is a banker. Banker's son. I'll just jump down. Summon you. Fine, be that way, asshole. But I want my my. Next time, I am sure we will. Do Most this. definitely, I just want my. I just want my goddamn crossbow. That will be very handy. It'll be a gun, but silent. It'll be so fucking handy. Oh sure, I can't climb that goddamn wall for some reason. So many handholds, but it's not geometry. Basic geometry. I must steal from you. Thank you for your contribution to society. Will there be a way up? Uh, don't tell me the only way through is through that goddamn aqueduct. I'm gonna stab somebody. Good. It wasn't even on the pl that plateau anyway. But still. I don't know why all of the music in this game is so foreboding for what reason why. So much of the music is like an orchestral swelling. Making you feel like something bad is about to happen. At least so far the game has been very good with the contextual running for, you know, like the, 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 two, the three hours I've been playing this game. But still. If it can keep this up. And not screw up. It'll be very good. We're all lost in this world, my dude. And I think the only thing that has been annoying has been that one tooltip that was, like, stuck forevermore. But otherwise, not terrible. I know, I think this is a story location, or at least a Colosseum is a story location. God damn it, there is a treasure chest there. But this place is way too fucking big for me to care. I think I saw flashing over here. Did I see flashing? No, I did not. I am but a fool. Why would you have stairs that go nowhere? It makes no sense. Can I buy the Colosseum? Red Jasper. One more Jasper and we'll be able to have the RGB of Jaspers. RBG Jasper lighting. Oh, come on. That can work. Hmm. Aha! All right. The contextual has decided to screw me today. But at the same time, I kind of am cheesing the climbing. Why would you climb up that? Not even an actual parkour person would look at that and go, I can climb that. No, you can't. Wow, it didn't even treat that section of wall as climbable. Just goes to show how whack this area is. There's literally a homeless guy drinking under me, and you're asking me if I'm the one who's drinking. I take exceeding... Okay, good. I was gonna get exceedingly angry if this was another one of the... Oh, sorry, you need this uh, this maneuver that we decided to just uh, take away from you for no reason. 
Uh, come back later, dipshit. Lol. This does not appear to be it. It probably would have helped, but it does not seem like I absolutely positively need it. Maybe if I go out the window, I can make progress? <laughs> Please? Progress. It is what I desire. Progress. Climbing this goddamn knot tower. I might be able to climb this part. Yes. Yes. Simple geometry. Uh, yes. That is what I require to climb goddamn things. And then the contextual running throws me off to my death and I have to climb all the way back up again. I throw my controller through my own face. And the game lives happily ever fucking. And off we go. All right, game, what is the red diddly? Ah, apparently I can do a thing. Well, I did just doodly dee. Any unsaved progress will be lost. I assume it saved right after the synchronization. It fucking better have. And I guess we'll end the game after doing whatever is new and improved outside of the Animus. Very nice of it to actually, like, hey. You can do things outside the Animus. Like, actually, there's a, a thing that you can do right now. You don't have to leave to check and get nothing. Why does the hoodie have a zip... Why does the hood have a zipper? Desmond's back. Everything all right? We lost another team. I don't like being stuck underground with them out there looking for us. You're doing a great job. We're safe here. For now. But for how long? Vidic won't give up. I know it. Neither will we. Find anything, Sean? You still managing the teams out in the field? No phone line. Rebecca's working on patching us into the network. So how's it feel letting the lady do all the work? She's no lady. <laughs> hey! <laughs> it's the look he gives him. You think we're safe here? I'm more concerned with the other assassins out there. If Abstergo stumbles onto information about the temples, we could have a disaster on our hands. The only people alive who've heard of the temples are here in this room. For now. For now? <laughs> well, who knows? Maybe they're listening to this conversation and you just gave everything away. You brought them up first. You are paranoid, Desmond. <laughs> well played. Well played, he says. We don't have time for chit-chat. Well played, he says. When literally he brought them up first. We have work to do. Apparently my work is reliving memories. Why do we have to stay down here all day? Abstergo's still looking for us. It'd be better if we never went out at all, but then we'd run out of supplies. It's like being in a cave during a rainstorm. Yeah, well, knowing the Templars, monsoon season's about to arrive. You ever use the Animus? Your ancestors have such interesting lives. I went in once. <laughs> it was pretty lame. Lol. Yeah, what were you? Some kind of spinster, probably. Worse, a Prussian mercenary. I spent hours firing guns. Boring! Yeah, guns are for sissies. <laughs> I like the back and forth. Focusing on this. So. Make sure you're back before dawn. There's an earpiece and a watch. Interesting. These? Yes, take them with you. Because there has to be stuff out there, which is ever so slightly terrifying. So I can wander around for ten minutes. And hilariously, the thing goes away in this mode. We probably get a non-standard game over. Oh sure, everything... <laughs> we have lights and electricity patched into all these buildings. We have lampposts, but nobody d decided to get rid of the rubble in, s in front of the goddamn door.
Is it showing me the quickest way back? What is this red line? Okay, so... What is this red line, then? How much time do we have? Because the moment it gets to, like, one, immediately need to head back. No matter what. idea what that's supposed to be. I do kind of like they went through the effort of reimagining this entire place with modern bits and pieces. So there are artifacts out here that I can find. Interesting. No idea why they would leave the Medici Cape there. And again, no idea what the Red Smear of Doom is. Can't go in there, even though it's a big old door. Wait. Nah, it's just a bicycle seat that, for some reason, looked shiny. If I had explored the villa more in Assassin's Creed 2, I would probably know more. But interesting that there is stuff that you can do, come out, lol, that apparently we put up the sign, like, hey, don't go out. But very interesting. Did not know about that. And they actually put it here. Interesting. Is this my workstation? <laughs> Mailer Desmond. A uh, Damon. Mailer Damon. Animus session, everyone. Supply run, Rebecca. Clean up, Lucy. Day watch, Sean. To relieve Lucy at 3 p.m. Tuesday, animus session, everyone. Clean up, Sean. Day watch, Lucy. To relieve Rebecca at 3 p.m. Interesting. <laughs> Team breakfast is prepped by Royal Chef Sean Hastings. Team meeting, day watch. Interesting. Invalid password. Huh. Very interesting that apparently... Unless this is... <laughs> if this really is kind of going back to Assassin's Creed 1. Leaving the Animus, things you can do... Emails. I like. It's interesting. Ready when you are. I'm gonna just jump back in to make sure that we're at a good place to end properly, and then we will end because we've been going for quite a while now, and it just f slipped on by. We did like three puzzles for the glyphs. It's just like lots and lots of things. At least it feels like lots of things. 
Well, I didn't jump off, but at least it kept. Apparently, the in income increased. Neat. But... I think that will be it for now. Brotherhood is very fun. The contextual jumping seems to mostly work. Really, I'm having more annoyance climbing the towers more than anything. Which is kind of funny. I do like the investment features. Machiavelli is being kind of an asshole, but oh well. And again, it does feel like they are putting in more and more aspects of Assassin's Creed 1 back into the game. Beggars, vigilantes, leaving the animus to walk around and find things and secrets, emails. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. But yeah. Very fun. Can't wait to continue later. But yes, but yes, thank you very much for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed what you saw, you can find all of the previous streams put up on the YouTube channel Neon Icy Games. And eventually I might even start multi-streaming there as well. And if you're already one of those people who are watching these here archives and don't want to wait for my slow trotting to multi-streaming, you can catch me playing these games live at twitch.tv slash neonicywings. And then, if you want to catch and make sure that you can watch me play these games live nice and good, you can check the Twitch channel schedule tab, or follow me on Twitter where I send out a tweet saying, I am going live to see when I go live, basically. And then I delete the tweet after I'm done streaming, so if you don't go, oh, he's streaming, you get there and it's over for been over for hours. And also on my Twitter and various other sites like DeviantArt, Newgrounds, and Tumblr. All of them at Neon Icy Wings except for Tumblr, which is Icy Wings Art Corner. You can find me doing art like my little corner buddy. I need to draw more. But it's just... Brain. Ba brain is very mean. I'm, I'm meaning to try and get brain in order so I actually do at least something Halloween. One of those Tober list things. Can't do Inktober because the creator of that was an asshole. Oh well. But, yeah, I'll, I'll try and do art things more in the future. But aside from that, yes, thank you very much for watching and I hope to see you dudes next time. Bye. Bye.